Hey guys and welcome to today's live stream. In today's live stream we are going to create an app for the electric car monitoring service. So basically if you have something like an electric car you can take a look at your range, you can take a look at your charging speed, you can take a look at your electricity bill and the spendage and all of these things. But before all of that welcome to this live stream. If you're just joining me hey I'm Alex and you can find me on my YouTube channel Alex on Design. If you're watching this on Behance then maybe you should follow me uh, as web donut which is my sort of business page over there and if you didn't know i also have a design system for adobe bsd which is uh, i believe the biggest one of its kind it's called inception design system and you can check it out on inceptiondesignsystem.co before we get started make sure to check out the link um, in the description to access the practice file if you want to follow along this live stream and also there is a link to the collection and i'm going to explain and show it to you in just a second Second. but before we get started let me welcome everybody in the chat hi carpios hi everybody who is watching today and thank you so much for joining me and before we get started i just want to quickly uh, show you what we're going to create today so here is the screen which we are going to uh, design today here is that design so basically here we have a home screen or a beginning screen or something like that where you can see the state of charge you can see uh, your range and you can see the temperature that you set of course you can uh, play around with all of these settings and include any other setting that you want right here and uh, here we are going to have the service notification we are going to have the name of the screen as well as the avatar and the menu icon and below that just a very very simple navigation we are going to have this lovely looking transitions and here you can see that we can can set the climate controls so currently it's set to heat and we can also change that to cool of course when you tap right here you can change the temperature of um, these values and then once you're done you can switch over to the charging screen and inside of the charging screen you have the battery charge you can see uh, graphically represented right here for your specific vehicle you can see the charging cable you can see the car and uh, there is a button to start charging below that there is energy used renewable so what percentage of that energy is renewable so quite simple and fun design once again there is a link in the description if you want to get the practice file and here is how that practice file looks like but before we get started let me share Shout out the chat once again hi usman welcome to the uh, live stream and as i said before we get started i just want to quickly show you this which is the electric car monitoring app collection which i uh, created on envato elements so right here below are the elements which i used for this specific design so i used this battery rotated in 3d because this is a 3d item and same with all of these but uh, i changed my mind about this charging station and simply went for the charging plug in this particular case these are 3d items and you can rotate them in any other uh, any kind of angle that you want and then simply download them as either png or uh, jpeg uh, or psd whatever you want then we're just going to use a few icons from this pack and all of these other items are the items which i believe are going to go well with this design if you decide to take it further so a few more chargers and electric cars of course you can rotate these in 3d and let me actually show you this one how it works and here we have the videos so if you want to integrate videos in your designs in adobe xd you can do just that simply hover right here and you can see how this looks like and here is our 3d model of the car this is the tesla model x of course so you can rotate it in any angle that you want you can even flip it upside down to show the battery if you want to you can download it as png in this particular angle then rotate it do whatever you want or psd and download as this particular angle so there is the collection if you want there is a link down in the description and this is really important all of these resources which are located in the practice file you are allowed to use for the purposes of following this tutorial but you are not allowed to use them in your portfolio in your client work or just showing them uh, on instagram or whatever so you have to license these elements if you want to use them anywhere outside of this particular practice file now with that out of the way let's switch to our practice file and here is how it looks like once 
once again so you can see um, this image which i showed you so basically i just used this particular angle of the car and used the battery overlapped it and did some uh, basic retouching in uh, photoshop basically just highlighted it as green because majority of cars are showing this uh, green energy and storage of the energy in this particular green color then we have that charger which i mentioned uh, charging cable in this particular orientation of course as i said you can change it and apply it however you want this is our car from the back this is our car from the top and finally our car from the front right here on the left we have uh, all of these different gradients and main colors we have different character styles we have different components so i saved you a time for this particular one so if i select it and choose my grid layout you can see i already uh, introduced the grid so you don't have to worry about them and we're going to come to them in just a second i also saved you this avatar uh, image all of these different icons and i'm going to show you all of this as we go along so i just want to uh, say hi to the chat once again hi gary nice of you to be here and welcome to the live stream and let's get started so uh, before i do let me open up my main file because i want to see what i was doing and let's get started so first things first let me hide myself just so you can see this particular section of uh, the screen so first things first i want to choose the layout so we can see uh, our grid and we can see what we're going to do then what we need is this menu icon i'm going to drag it right here and I'm going to position it roughly around here. Then I'm going to use this avatar and place it right here. Make sure that these two are in the center and basically position it, let's say 30 from the top. So roughly around here maybe. And then before I move on any further, we have this background image, which I'm going to drag and drop inside. Snap it to here, then to here. It's going to go to the top and then do the same for this screen as well. So background image drag it and drop it and i'm going to show you what i did in just a second there we go so if i quickly hide this grid and jump inside this image double click inside so this is the original image which i used and if i click on it to access it there are particular filters so we have opacity at 10 percent that's why you see it um, barely then we have luminosity applied to it and that's basically it that's all it takes to get uh, from that original look to this particular great outlook and i simply wanted to go with this particular look because the car itself is really minimal and the electric cars in general try to be as minimal as possible because the overall design of an electric car as such is a bit different than petrol or diesel cars because you don't have to have all of that space for the engine you don't have to have the space um, for the fuel uh, on the back for example or in the center so there is plenty more room uh, for the occupants inside there is plenty more room for the cargo storage and stuff like that so that's why majority of these cars look really minimal in this case tesla but of course as you saw uh, on envato elements if you want to use that website there are plenty of other 3d models which you can use for this purpose so let's get started and move on with this design so what i want to do first is uh, type that text in so let me use my t and type in vehicle like this and let me position it to the center and let's select this menu so let's see background image should go all the way to the back let's select these three make sure they are in the center like this make sure the text is in the center and let me see let's use a style from here so 18 bold which is this one and once again make sure to select all three make sure to group them Control G to put them in a group and i'm going to call this top nav for example and it's really important to group all of your items if you want to keep a track as to what you have created and where you are at your design so let's now get started with that notification right here so i'm going to bring my uh, grid back that's why i hide myself just so you can see it a bit better so i'm going to stretch it out like this and for this let's go with the height of let's say 105 and let's see for the distance let's go with 50 so like this just so, so that we have a bit of distance here let's go with 9 or 10 for example for the corner radius let's get rid of this particular border and i'm going to come right here and call it card 
PG. And I'm going to right click and paste my original appearance. And if I click right here, you can see it's just a linear gradient uh, coming from the black to this particular color, color, which is E5, E5, E5. And if I click on the black, you can see it's completely black. Now, this light gray color, as you can see, is at 48%. It goes roughly right here and the black color goes all the way to here. That gives it this sort of ghost looking effect if you want. So next, let's use our text tool once again and let's type in service notification. Like that, make sure it's left aligned, position it roughly around here. And let's see, maybe for that one, we can use uh, once again, this 18 bolt. Where is it? There we go. So nice and large. And for the distance, maybe we can go with 20 from this side. Then control D to make a duplicate of it. And let's see, perhaps 10. 10, something like that. And for this one, I'm going to use, let's see, maybe 14 regular, like this. And I'm going to basically select the text and paste it in. So this is the text which I was using originally. So here we have 14, here we have 14, and here we have 15. So let's call it a day, but maybe I can reduce this to 104, for example. And now we are going to have 14 all around. Like this, hopefully you can see it because of all of these colors. Uh, so that's basically it. Let's group it and I'm going to select these three. Control G and call it service notification like this. Make sure it's below my top now. And then below that, we are going to have our car information. So for our car information, I'm going to drag some of these uh, icons in. So first things first, let's use this one for the electric car app, but we have to be careful because I don't want it to drag uh, inside of this background because that's going to basically replace it. So I'm going to hide my background for now. Then I'm going to drop in right here and you can see it doesn't replace anything. It still works like it should. And let me quickly uh, edit this because I just noticed that I have these uh, two right here. So you can see it's the border color. So let me right click, uh, apply border color and right click and apply border color again. And because I edited my uh, main icon, I'm going to replace it in all of the copies alongside my document, as you can see right here. So next up, let's drag in that other icon of the battery, and I'm going to make sure it's in the center. Let's check this one, it's good. And finally, let's use that climate uh, icon. So let me find it, here it is. And you can see that I have default state and select states created for all of my icons because I want to animate this design a bit later. So let's now select all three, make sure they are in the center like that. And let's see for the distances, maybe we can go with, I don't know, 50 or 45 or something like that. So let's go. So let's see what we did right here. We did 50, we did 50 right here. So that's fine. Now let's use our text tool and type in 74%. Make sure uh, that I choose this one. 60 or let's go let me check in my original example maybe 24 so this one and position it in right here control d to duplicate it make sure this is in the center and for this one it's going to show kilometers so 249 kilometers of course if you are using miles per uh, miles uh, in your country then you can use those but because i'm comfortable with kilometers i'm just going to use those uh, in this particular example i'm going to type in 24 and then o c 24 percent uh, 24 degrees celsius and i'm going to use this one which is superscript which is going to move this zero right here and basically give you an illusion of 24 uh, degrees Celsius. I'm going to make sure that these are in the center, these as well, and these two as well. Now for the distances uh, between the text and uh, my icons, basically what I want to do is select them and perhaps move them to 20, like this, and then I'm going to select these two, Let's see what we can call them, for example, percentage, then select these two. This can be range, so your range left. And finally, this can be something like climate. 
like that then i'm going to align them like this and group them and call this car info and nudge it right to here so right below all of this information and now we need to use the image of a car so basically i'm just going to drag it make sure it's in the center and align it to roughly around here as you can see once again i have this huge um, png which i was too lazy to cut but nevertheless um, it still gives a great result like this you can cut it if you want to but i just didn't want to bother with it at all so next up let's use our text tool once again and i'm going to type in tesla model x e use 100d for example and for this one maybe we can use 18 so 18 bold snap it in the center Control d once again and i just made up the pack that the car was using and i'm going to use let's say maybe 14 there we go i think that's good and finally the distance between these two can be 20 maybe something like this there we go make sure this is in the center and i'm going to group these two and call them car name, maybe just below uh, the car itself and maybe position it roughly around here so we're going to uh, deal with that in just a second now we need to uh, create those uh, icons which are going to go to the bottom so let's see uh, let's drag and drop those so basically i have these three position them right here and let's organize them a bit better so this is going to go right here this is going to go to the center and i'm going to make sure to select all three make sure to line them up like this there we go and then basically adjust this i'm going to move it all the way to here move this all the way to here and adjust this to be straight in the center let me check the chat real quick and see what's going on hey everybody thank you so much for watching once again hopefully you are enjoying this and following using uh, that practice file which i provided next up i'm going to create a rectangle and call it selector so basically it can go from here to here maybe like this and let's give it a color let's remove the border let's call it selector like this and let's give it something like three for the corner radius uh, just to round it up a little bit and perhaps we can uh, make sure that these are in the center like this selector can go all the way down and let's see car climate charger that's fine and in this first screen we are going to select selected state for for the car itself because that is what is selected and let's see uh in this case maybe we can move it let's say 20 let's actually see let's see where we are with this icon so something like yeah i think 20 is going to actually work so we'll position there and i'm going to also make sure to position this in the center like this and then simply move and adjust this to here finally once we are ready we can group all of this and call it nav maybe for the navigation i can nudge it all the way down to here but once again just below our main image and from the bottom of our page we can do something like one two three two b30 uh, pixels from the bottom i think that's going to work just fine and finally for this what i want to do is use my rectangle and roughly eyeball it so from this top of this icon to the bottom of my car maybe around here select my text make sure this is in the center just so i'm sure uh, that visually this is where it's supposed to be now the only thing which is left for me to create here is the floor of the car so i'm going to uh, basically create a circle a nice big circle like this and i'm going to use this floor gradient get rid of my border color and basically for the dimensions we can go with something like i don't know 5 11 maybe the height or something like that make sure this is in the center to roughly around here maybe and then simply nudge it here but it went to climate screen so let's shift it to here and then make sure we are in the center like that make sure we move it below our car call it floor now let's see now we can nudge it a bit lower 
maybe roughly around here or something like that see of course i can move this even further if i want to i can stretch this so skew this do what with it whatever i want the whole point is just to have a basic shape behind your car to act up as a floor and let's preview this see how it looks like for now and i think it looks good the only thing which i forgot to bring back is my background image so let's preview it now and here you can see this shape and why I included the background image and everything is spaced out uh, nice uh, as it should be. So basically that's it for this particular screen. Let's now move on to the climate screen. Before I do, I want to check the chat. Once again, hi everybody. Thank you for following me. Thank you for watching this live stream. So I'm going to select uh, the stop now and move it right here. Instead of vehicle, I'm going to call it climate. so and then what we can do is control c control v while we are here and i'm going to call this one charging like this Let's not repeat ourselves then what i can do as well is simply select uh, my nav select these two control v to paste them uh, at the same time then i'm going to position my navigation here to selector to be here in the center like this make sure that this is selected make sure that this car icon is at its default state and basically do the same for this one move it all the way to here and make sure this is selected make sure the car icon is not and there we go now that we are ready with this what we can do is basically move on to the second screen and for the second screen what we need is this car so i'm going to bring it to the center and nudge it all the way to roughly around here maybe something like that and then what i need is some sort of a gradient right here at the top so i'm going to uh, position it right here below my uh, all of my items and I'm going to drag my gradient to roughly around here. Maybe it can go, use the original example. So six to seven was the original example. It goes all the way across the car. Let's call it gradient. And let's apply that gradient. So maybe let me actually use the original one. So I'm going to show you what I did. So I'm going to right click paste appearance. There we go. So basically it's the same as with the previous one. If I select this one, you can see it's 515151. And this is uh, 191212. The black one is at 100% and this lighter one is at 0%. Lighter one goes uh, down and the darker one goes up. Of course, you're going to move this gradient right here to be able to see all of these elements at the top. And as for the image, let me maybe nudge it just a bit down to roughly around here, but we're going to place uh, our icon inside. So we're going to check and see uh, what we have to do. So for the icon, I just went in with this climate icon and I'm going to make sure it's in the center and roughly around here somewhere. And we're going to position it a bit better in just a second. Then what we have are cool and heat icons. I'm going to also drag and drop them inside. Heat can go on this side. Cool can go on this side. And basically I'm going to select these two, make sure they are in the center. And let's see, control G. Maybe we can call them heat. Cool just so that we know what it is below the climate icon then i also have these two arrows which i created so right and left arrows and I position it differently like this maybe and we are going to see in just a second where they should go but for now let's just leave them right here so for these arrows as i said uh, i'm going to position them uh, in just a second but actually no let's let's do it right now so I'm going to select my left arrow, position it, let's see, roughly around here. Right arrow, position it roughly around here. There we go. Now I have my climate icon, which is going to go to the top. There we go. And now let's deal with the temperature. So 24, let's see, oh, like this. And I'm going to give this bigger size of 60. And then when I select this, I want to do the same thing. So subscript, 
to turn it into a bit more presentable item. Then I'm going to select all of these items and heat and cool. Make sure they are in the center like this. And let's see, perhaps I can nudge them down to something like this, but let's also deal with the text. So I need to include another text. So interior, actually let me copy from my original example just to be a bit faster. So basically it's the temperature for uh, interior and exterior. It's going to be 14, there we go. Now for the positioning, maybe we can go with something like 40 from here. These icons, so one, two, three, four, or 30 because we went 30 down right here. And then what we can do is group these. And let's see where we are, 31. So maybe go 30, where we are with this one, something like this. So maybe visually in the center between our car and here. So I think that's quite good. So let's see, maybe we can nudge it up a bit more. And maybe, and then nudge our car actually a bit to the top. Yeah, I think that's going to work just fine visually. So once again, let me select these. So this should go right here and left arrow, right arrow. So this should be in the center. Climate icon should be at the top, which is fine. And let me select all of these. Make sure they are in center once again. There we go. Heat and cool. We're going to leave it as it is. But now what I'm going to do is create my tap points. So basically just drag a rectangle like this and call it a left tap point because I need the space to be able to click on these arrows. Control D duplicate it. This is going to be my right tap point. Like so. And I want to be able to prototype and click there later if I want to. So let me check. We are almost at 30 minutes, so we are going quite well. And basically what I'm going to do for this one is control G, group it and call it temperatures or temp maybe. It's going to be really quick. So I'm going to maybe create three or four different copies. So control D, control D, control D. This is going to be 25. This is going to be 26 and this can be 27, maybe something like that. And finally, I'm going to uh, maybe duplicate this one, position it, make sure it's in the center, extend it by holding my alt key to roughly around here, maybe around here because I want a bigger area to mask and maybe I can extend it just a bit up like this maybe. It's going to work just fine. And I'm going to call this one mask. Then I'm going to position it just uh, above my temperatures and make sure to group them. So we can call this one temperatures of temps. And I can lower down the opacity of these two. And now what we can do is basically call this controls maybe. So let's group all of them up to here. So a left tap point and right arrow. So all of these elements, control G and call them controls. Like that. And basically that's it. I think uh, that's going to work just fine. So let's now quickly organize our elements. So we have our top now, which is going to go to the top, obviously, like that. Then we have our, our climate icon, we have our controls, we have our heat and cool. And of course, I just left them like this. So let's first deal with this icon for the heat like that. I'm going to choose selected one. So basically, I just created another state, applied the color and call it a day. Then we have this temperature. We have this one right here, 30. And maybe we can lower it down. But that's because of the mask, actually. So let's let's see. Maybe we can select this, this and this. Let's see where we are. So 30. 30 from here, 20, and here we are at 35, which is fine. So yeah, let's leave it like this. Now that screen is basically completed. Let's now work on this one. And before I do, I just want to quickly check the chat. 
I hope everybody is doing well today and hopefully you are enjoying uh, this live stream. If you have any questions, make sure to post them uh, in the chat below. So first things first, I'm going to use this image and make sure I snap it in the center. And let's see, position it, I don't know, roughly, roughly around here maybe, somewhere around there, maybe a bit down, maybe here. Then I'm going to use that charger, drop it right inside of here, use my car, position it roughly around here, and then position my charger a bit differently, maybe to here somewhere, something like that. Then we are going to use that floor from the first screen, Control C, and right here Control V, there we go. And basically what I want is to extend it a bit, make sure I notch it all the way down. So top now should go to the top, obviously, and these two should go, let's see, let's just leave them right here for now and we're going to adjust them in just a second. But before we do, we need to include that text, so maybe I can notch uh, my car in just a tiny bit, something like that. And as I said, let's include our text. So I'm going to use these two, Control C, Control V right here. Make sure to position it roughly around here. And let's call this 79%. Maybe that's what uh, the battery remaining. So 79% like that. And let's see, maybe I can um, type in something like battery. Charge. There we go. And the distance between those two can be, let's say, 20 or maybe 10. Like that. Make sure they are in the center of each other and in the center right here. And I'm going to call this info or battery info. Something like that. And then I'm going to position it just below my car image because later on when I start prototyping I just want to make sure that it slides just below my car image and fades out of the way as it does so it's going to achieve that nice looking transition. So let's keep on working and we are really close to finishing off this design so let's eyeball it um, maybe I don't know, maybe roughly around here, because I still need to um, include that text at the bottom. So I'm actually going to control a D on this one and move it out of the way like this. And then battery info, see that's that, state of charge, car charger, and that's all fine. And navigation, I want to move it to the top to be able to actually click on it and that's fine. Now battery info control a D and I'm going to uh, move this down right around here and then I'm going to basically uh, type in the text which I used previously. For this one I want the text to go to the from the left hand side for both of these. I'm going to adjust them and uh, battery charge Let's see for temperature, let's go with 24. And I'm going to type in energy used. And here, let me actually copy and paste the original text which I used. And for those two, let's see 10. Like that. So this is going to be energy used. Control D on this one and position this one down now this is going to be called renewable so basically what percentage of that percentage came from renewable sources like that Let's actually let me find the original example and paste to make this a bit faster 67% generated from green sources but I forgot to include right here are these two icons so let's use the right icon I'm going to place it right around here and open up this folder make sure to drop it inside there we go and make sure that it's in the center of these items like uh, this maybe first of all let's align it to here 
Hmm. What can I do is let's do something like this. There we go. And then select my right arrow. Make sure that's in the center. There we go. Then control C and make sure to paste it inside of here. Align it to these items until it's in the center like so. And just to make sure I can do that thing one more time where I draw my rectangle, select the rectangle and right arrow, make sure this is in the center. There we go. Energy used and that's fine. Now we are done and I can maybe space out these two to maybe 20 like this. And let's see from the bottom uh, from our navigation, what I can do is maybe space them out to 40 or 30 or something like that. So let's see maybe 30 so that we are uh, at the same space but actually maybe 40 just so that we can give it a bit more space for the tap so when users wants to tap uh, they have a bit more space to do just that now we have to create that button so let me create and draw a quick button like this and let me check in my original example what i did let's first call it btnbg get rid of the fill color let me hide myself so you can see it and let's apply this main color as our border color and finally let's apply five for the corner radius inside of that let's type in something like start charging there we go make sure it's in the center select these two right to here and let's group it call it charge button charge btn or whatever you want and i'm going to place it 20 make sure this is the same color so we have the same distances between everything and there we go now if you want and uh, i'm not a big fan for this particular example if you want you can change this to be uh completely filled in so let me show you what i mean if you want you can apply it to be like this but I'm not really a big fan of this because you can see how um, how it sticks out from the original design. So uh, if you decide to go with this example, you can see it's much lighter on your eyes and it's much less um, intrusive, as I said. So I went with this uh, approach, but you can, of course, experiment. You can add a third color if you want to and then apply it and uh, experiment with that one. Finally, let's do some uh, changing. So let's align this. First of all, let me hide uh, this layout. And what I want to do is use my floor, extend it all the way to roughly around here, maybe something like that. And let's see. I think that's fine yeah i think it looks good of course you can play around with it and maybe adjust this charger just a bit right to here maybe and then uh, this state of battery charge maybe i can draw a quick rectangle from here to imaginary roof line maybe something like that and then choose the battery info position it there and now we are in the center of our screen that's basically it that's our design completed let me quickly check the time so we are 40 minutes in hi everybody who is following uh this live stream and thank you for being with me on this live stream so what i want to do next is basically jump inside and group all of my items so i'm going to hit ctrl g and call this controls like this then i'm going to do the same for this one and call this climate Finally, jump in right here, Control G, and call this charging. Because that's going to allow me to prototype these much faster. So before we jump into prototyping, let's quickly preview how it looks like right now. So here we have the fir this first screen, then we have this second screen, and finally we have this third screen. Before we move on to prototype these screens, actually, what I want to do is to create a component for this, for my controls, so hit Control K and let's create one for let's say 25 and what i'm going to do basically is just jump inside my temperatures and adjust number 25 to be in the center something like this there we go and i can create number 26 and basically do the same thing so temperatures and let's jump inside and simply adjust 26 once i'm happy with it there we go and then 27 
yes because we created it we can might we might as well have to use it so 27 roughly around there there we go now let's quickly animate it default state and i'm going to use my controls so a left tap point and i have my right tap point so switch to prototype so basically make sure that you are in a default state and i'm going to use my right tap point click on it i'm going to use uh, auto animate let's go to 25 ease in out or maybe i can use snap let's see how that looks like maybe 0 0.6 so let's hit preview really quickly yeah, I think snap is going to work a bit better. So now let's go to 25. I'm going to select this one and go down to 24 or default state. This is going to go to 26. There we go. Let's go to 26. This can go to 27 and this will go back to 25. And finally, let's do the 27. And I suggested to the team at Adobe to fix this issue because I think it's going to be quite easy for them to fix it. Basically, what I suggest them to do is for us to be able to click here on this line and draw it down and basically expand this area instead of me going right here uh, and scrolling up and down to access all of my states. So hopefully in one of the next um, updates, they are going to do just that. But for now we have to scroll up and down. And you saw that in the previous live stream where I have like 16 or 17 these states, it's really difficult to scroll up and down and just to see where you are at the moment. It's just confusing and time wasting in my opinion. So that's why I suggested uh, that update to come in the future hopefully they are going to listen to me but if not at least i suggested it because i saw a lot of you guys uh, recommending that too so let's go back to the default state and let's check out this snap interaction see how it looks like yeah i think it looks quite fun like that and finally what we need to do is use our heat and cool Control k so basically this is our default state let's switch to design and choose cool for the cool basically switch the states like this now let's go to prototype let me tap on it and i'm going to go to the selected hmm. i should have created the tap points for those as well so let's do that so let me delete this state and let's quickly do that I'm not going to waste too much time so let's draw a quick rectangle Control d move it all the way to here this is going to be cool tap point this is going to be heat tap point and you can see the issue right here uh, as i showed you so basically the issue is when you select this component because it has component states inside uh, in this case just one it selects that state by default when you start prototyping so you have to tell xd no actually don't select that one select th this one for this particular component so here we have heat and cool let's create a new one as i said so this is going to be cool maybe and inside of the cool let's switch this one to selected state let's switch this one to default state let's bring it back to default state when you click the prototype when i click on this one which is cool tap point now it's going to take me to my cool state inside of my cool state i'm going to select this one and it's going to take me to my default state so there we go switch to default and let's check out see how it looks like and i think it's going to work just fine and there we go we have this changing happening in real time which is quite fun now finally let's animate all of our other um, screens and let me check the chat hi andy nice of you to be here and don't worry about it it's going to uh, be recorded on uh, youtube behance twitter wherever you want to follow it if you are in my private facebook group you can watch it there as well so don't worry if you missed something you can check up uh, later and follow along what you've missed so now let's get started with the animation and basically what i want to do is um, use these three screens but spread them apart a little bit I want to duplicate this one and let's see call it maybe fade like that then i want to duplicate this one call it fade and finally do the same for the charging and call it fade 
Because if you remember from my original example, let me show you. Here it is. When I click right here, it's going to fade and then transition to the next screen and actually change it right here, as you can see. And same for this one. So when you click, it's going to change and then transition back to this screen. So let's deal with that now. So basically here we have this and let me hide myself just so you can see all of these controls on the right. Uh, what I want to do basically here is to move this out of the way maybe to here that's why i put it in a group and then i want to let's see what we can do with these so maybe i can move them out right to here maybe i can fade in my vehicle let's see like that and i'm going to leave the top now as it uh, where it is then I'm going to select my car and my floor and basically move them all the way down or out of the way. And do the same for this text. Select it and move it and perhaps maybe I can move this text even a bit down. And there we go. So basically um, to achieve this what we can do is hmm, perhaps move this to the top so it doesn't overlap with any elements um, that move. So just move it just below our top nav and do the same for all of these other screens. So nav, I'm going to move it right here. Nav, move it right here. Do the same for this one. And finally, do the same for this one. There we go. So now it won't uh, clash with any other elements. And basically what I want to do for this one is select this screen, control C, control V, paste it in. And what I want to do here is basically, let's see, maybe I can uh, delete the nav because I don't need it at the moment. And I can move my car all the way to here. So all the way out of my screen like that. And then my climate can fly in from space, from here roughly. And then this icon for the climate can go down and the gradient can go down. Finally, what I can do with these controls maybe is, let's see, maybe I can move them out of the way. So all of them. So use my uh, controls, heat and cool move them out of the way just be careful when you're selecting this um, you have to stay at 24 for this effect to work i'm going to show you in just a second and this can maybe follow and go roughly around here so there we go and i'm going to leave this as it is this screen and now i have to do the same for this fade so basically lower down the opacity and move my car all the way out of the way so it can go to the top there we go climate can fade in and then charging will uh, fly in from the top you're going to see that so let's now deal with this icon maybe i can lower it down so let's see maybe i can move these controls in other direction heat and cool maybe they can go in this direction now and this can go in this direction and there we go so now that that's finished let me actually check the gradient uh yes it's opacity is at zero let me select this screen so charging control c paste it in control v and then use this text and nudge it out of the way like we did previously what i can do with this top image where it is state of charge i can move it out of the way like here and i can take this image nudge it to here roughly charger to here battery percentage is going to go right to here and then fade to zero like this and then let's see what we can do next hmm. 
let's see let's see let's see so i'm going to actually uh, use this navigation get rid of it and show this navigation so let's show this and i'm going to uh, uh, uh where it is there we go i'm going to show it For some reason, yeah, because of this background image, of course. So let's see. Actually, no, maybe I can just take it. Control X. And position it here. There we go. So I just took the nav from this and moved it to here just to be able to see all of it. I'm going to take the floor and move it down to roughly around here so it's still inside of my screen roughly state of charge battery info now for the charging uh, button what we can do maybe I can move it in this direction and text I don't know maybe we can move it in this direction so it flies from here to here and all of these elements are changing it's going to stay to here that's fine and now finally what we can do for this one is we can uh, move this car right here this side this can go down once again better info roughly around here zero in opacity this can go to here this can go to here this can go right down to here once again just inside of the screen there we go now these two can go in the same direction they came in like this this can fade there we go and now that charging is done all you have to do is select controls control c control v paste it in or basically even better use this screen for controls control c and control V because an, um, position is already uh, completed everything is already moved where it should be and basically that's it so all I want from this screen is to use my controls top nav vehicle make sure it's in and I'm going to move it right here there we go so that's basically all you need to do for this one and before I start prototyping let me check the chat Hey everybody, so nice of you to be here and we are almost at the end. So I'm going to uh, basically animate these. So let's go to prototype and I'm going to select my navigation. So this is going to take me to this screen. There we go. And let's see what we can do. We can use tap. We can use auto animate and I can use easy and out and use two seconds for example there we go and now for this fade screen of course we are going to use the time trigger like so and i'm going to use the duration of two seconds easing out and auto animate uh, again it's going to switch to this screen and finally we need to select this icon so select it from here it's much simpler drag it and i'm going to use tap easy now to two seconds once again and then i'm going to use the same settings to here so time auto animate easy now two seconds and finally what i want is this icon to tap it to go to this screen and basically transition fade into here now I noticed something here that we have this selection so I'm going to switch to uh, design and inside of my design let me adjust that nav hmm. yeah let's just use that one so let's check it out and see where we are Maybe there is some mistake, so let's check it out and try to fix it if it is. So once again, when I click right here, it's going to slide out of the way. Climate is going to fly in. All of this information is going to go here. When I select these work, when I select here, these work as well. Just make sure to go back to 24 when you do. When I click, it's going to nicely go out. 
and then all of this information is going to nicely fly in of course you can add it and add more screens for this particular information at the bottom if you want to but for now let's just leave it as it is when i click right here it's going to slide out of the way and it's going to fly back in into play so there we go that's our design for today uh, that's what i wanted to show you let's check it out once again so it just flows nicely everything works as it should perhaps this icon maybe should be at the bottom let's check that so if it come right here climate icon should actually be uh, just below the car right there and let's find it here climate climate icon should be below the car so that the car can actually go over it and not uh, under it so let's check it out one more time so i'm going to click right here just pay attention to this climate icon so once again hmm. yeah for some reason it didn't work perhaps because of the fate so once it actually goes and changes to the fate um, that's why it doesn't work maybe we can even position it a bit differently yeah so instead of it fading into position maybe it can go with the car and then simply drag uh, drop uh, behind the car or do something like that but for now let's not bog down with this particular icon and i think it works just fine so there we go this is our design for today hopefully you guys enjoyed it as much as i enjoyed creating it and working on it for this particular live stream once again this is your practice file and practice file is attached just below uh, in the chat and you can check it out you can download it and if you want you can uh, check out my website alexondesign.co if you're interested in xd courses if you're interested in practice files for all of my youtube tutorials if you're interested in design products all of it is located right there make sure to subscribe to my youtube channel which is alex on design for videos uh, every single week about uh, adobe xd design passive income techniques and more make sure to check me out on uh, behance for web donut and finally if you haven't already make sure to check out inception design system which is one of the biggest design systems ever created for adobe xd it took me over six months to create it so make sure to check it out let me check the chat one last time thank you so much for watching we are at just one hour and it's been a blast to uh, create this with you guys hopefully you enjoyed it make sure to download the practice file but just make sure to follow the instructions which i gave at the beginning of this live stream to use these practice file in just uh, learning purposes so basically to follow along this live stream and not to use it uh, in any kind of presentational purposes like portfolio like client work and all of the rest of it because you have to license all of these elements from envato elements i uh, purposely left the link uh, in the description and in the chat so you can check that link if you want to get this for yourself if you want to license it for your projects so Thank you once again. Thank you, Donald. Um, you are amazing for following and for being here. I really enjoyed this one. And until next time, take care.